Atletico Mineiro against Monarcos Morelia. I'm John Champion, and covering this game alongside me, someone who certainly knows a thing or two about playing at the top level, it's Jim Begley. Hi, John. It's been a great buzz here since I sat in my seat. I think this promises something special today. effort on goal what an effort that was it's gone very well from that distance he's over the ball his teammates waiting shoots here looking to whip one in Pretty effective defending. Mancia. Francisco Acuna. Ball stolen. He's going on his own. What can Atletico Mineiro do here? Intercepts the pass. Atletico Mineiro applying the pressure early. Look, it's testament to a very vigorous start that has clearly caught their opposition cold here, and they just need a goal now to, to confirm their superiority. No side able to force a breakthrough yet. Won that physical contest, and with it, the ball. Pass cut out. And that's been cleared. A chance. That's going to go a long way. Here's Mancia. Moving forwards, good strong run down the right, now looking though for some support. Tops it upfield. A stern challenge coming in. He couldn't get it cleanly and it's a foul. No surprise, it's a yellow card. by way of goal mouth action as yet. Atletico Mineiro have scored. He'd love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. Get us underway at 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. Possibility for a shot. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Mancia. Only five minutes until the break now. Real chance. Fist it away. Francisco Acuna. 
a robust challenge. There goes the whistle, and it's half-time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Just the one goal separates them then. It's 1-0. We kick off for the next 45 minutes. Now, surely. It's a two-goal lead now. When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. And it was all done with consummate ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful flow. It's 2-0. Well, that goal makes such a difference to the whole dynamic of this game. That second goal puts them in control now. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. It's a throw. Fifteen minutes of the second half played. over the goal line, so goal kick here. Atletico Mineiro yet to make a substitution here. It's an opportunity. He so nearly exploited that mistake. Arevalo. Goal! They lead by three, and that may just about be that. the time and space he had, he was never likely to miss. Look, he can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough, and in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. We resume again, the score is 3-0. Mancia. Little in the way of subtlety in that tackle. Hector Reynoso. This goes for a throw in.
getting down. intervention that was too now Hector Reynoso a foul and the free kick's been given that was always likely to be the outcome yellow card Mancia and he concedes a free kick and that will see him go into the referee's notebook Keeper's got it. That's it, the match is over. They totally dominated proceedings for long periods in this game, each time capitalising with a goal, and that was important. Well, some matches you just don't want to end, and that was one of them for me. You couldn't predict what was going to happen next. It was a great game.